I didn't always want to be a priest. In fact, when I had a conversion experience after a life of, uh, of addiction, a life running away from, from God and running away from family, I had this encounter with God. And I, I knew after experiencing this incredible love of God that I wanted to tell the world about this love. And I used to pray, God, I'll do whatever you want. I'll go, I'll sing, I'll dance, whatever you want, Jesus. I want to tell people about the things that you have done in my life. I had an encounter with the resurrected Christ and I needed to tell the world. I couldn't keep it to myself. And I started to tell people about what Jesus had done in my life and at school and people thought I was crazy but I couldn't stop because I wanted people to know. But I used to pray, I used to finish off that prayer with a little prayer at the end. I used to pray, God, I'll do whatever you want but please don't let me become a priest. <laughs> Because I used to see the priest so cut off from the reality that I knew. For me, the priesthood was just a person who used to celebrate Mass and I didn't used to see them smile. And I didn't want, I didn't have a lot of good role models growing up seeing priests on the altar. I had respected them, I admired them, but I didn't want to be one of them. And, but deep down inside, I knew that the reason why I prayed that was because I maybe had the inclination that God might be calling me to that. It was a deep down feeling that maybe I could, but I didn't want to. But I, later on, as I, I continued to walk with the Lord, I still you continue to pray that prayer. Lord, I don't want to be a priest. But then I added another piece at the end to that prayer. I used to say, God, I don't want to be a priest, but if you want me to be a priest, then you give me the desire for it. I didn't want to go against the, the, the desire of my heart. And I don't believe that God forces anyone into priesthood. Isn't, uh, one of the ways God works, even through a vocation, is that he, he gives us the desire to serve Him in a particular way. And I started touring, I started preaching, I started going around the world giving concerts. And one day I was giving a concert in Italy and I was playing music. Now at this time I had a girlfriend and for those of you who don't know, priests don't get married. We, we live a celibate life. And I had a girlfriend and I planned to get married, I planned to take over a business. I, I, had a, I read for a degree in commerce and I have a degree in commerce and so I started to work towards that, but I also started touring, evangelizing, and one day I was giving this concert in, in Sicily, and as I was playing this concert, there were hundreds of people in this concert, and as I was playing in the middle of this concert, I see this priest walk in. Now, he was surrounded by young people. Now, I look at this priest, and I continue to sing this song, but I look at him and I think, whoa, this guy is so cool. He was, he was dressed so, in such a cool way, his hair was gelled and he was young and he was surrounded by young people and the young people wanted to be around him. He was so full of joy and happiness and I looked at him and I thought, wow. And I remember having this thought in my head, thinking, God, I still don't want to be a priest, but if I will be anything like this guy, I'll consider it. And slowly this... This was a, 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 a foot in the door for God to begin working in my heart, to reach out to my heart with a desire for the priesthood. Eventually, myself and Padre Giovanni, this priest, became friends and we started talking and slowly, as I got to know him more, my, the desire for the priesthood started to, to be realized and I started to desire, I started to think maybe I could be a priest. But I had a girlfriend and I, I had this degree that I wanted to, to, to put into action. I wanted to run a business. I wanted to do so many things and I, I wanted to play music as well professionally and I thought, no, I'm not ready to give this up but you know this desire for the priesthood started to grow and grow and I started to think wow imagine I could give people Jesus through the Eucharist imagine I could give people Jesus through through reconciliation and and give Jesus through preaching the Word of God and I wanted this I wanted this 
But I had to give up a few things, you know. And one thing I did was I, I remember sitting down with my girlfriend and saying, listen, I think I'm going to have to, to end this relationship because I need to think whether this vocation is for me. And she cried and I cried and it was, it was a difficult moment. Now, mind you, fast forward to today, we're still very good friends. But... Slowly I started to think about the priesthood more seriously and eventually I did enter into the seminary and I started to discern the priesthood. And you know this desire started to grow and grow and grow and the desire to serve God through the priesthood began to grow and, but I felt so unworthy. I felt I wasn't good enough and I, I had to give up my, my music, I had to give up all the things and it was really hard. I would give them up for a while but then doubt whether I should have. Eventually, I laid it all down and I pursued the seminary and I, I, I started to work towards the priesthood. Funnily enough, in my first year in the seminary, I got offered a record deal, music, and the director gave me permission to pursue that. And then I started getting sort of invitations, even as a seminarian, to speak all around the world. When I was in my third year in the seminary, I got invited to sing for the Holy Father and sing in front of half a million people. And, but it was never, never about the music. It was about me proclaiming the Word of God through music. Uh, for me, the most important thing first is that I'm, I'm a child of God. That is the most important thing. Then I'm a priest. I get to serve Jesus through the priesthood. And then musician and preacher and evangelist, all of that is to fulfill the vocation in my life to proclaim Jesus in word and sacrament. I love being a priest. I was ordained a priest and, and that was one of, if not the most joyful day of my life. But I'd be a fool to tell you that the priesthood is easy. It's not. It's difficult. It's hard. And at times, you do want to run away. But you see, it's all about daily surrender. It's all about daily discernment. It's all about daily choosing to serve God, as marriage is. You know, I know those of you who are married want to run away at times. But you keep on going because of your commitment. You keep on going because of love. It's the same with the priesthood.